Hi, Steve here. For those of you that know me well, you already know I don't ever advertise any product that I'm not 100% behind. I don't promote, sponsor, or share any product with you that I haven't used myself and have been thoroughly sold on. This is why I've been telling everyone about Cosiva's Advanced TRS, 100% pure and natural detoxification system. Not only is it a pure and concentrated source of zeolite detoxification, but Advanced TRS is a complete solution for safely ridding harmful toxins from your body. It will detoxify heavy metals safely from your body. It's 100% pure nano zeolite, suitable for adults and children, no preservatives. But what I really like about it is it's so simple to use. You just shoot a couple of sprays in your mouth in the morning and in the evening, and that's it. I've seen the real results when I use it every time. And if you want real results yourself in detoxifying so many of these heavy metals that they spray on us constantly, then I recommend Cosiva TRS. You can purchase it yourself by going to thinkaboutit.cosiva.com. And if you like it as much as I do, you can also become a distributor yourself. If you want the most effective way to detox the heavy metals in your body, use Cosiva TRS today. <laughs>
in the, in the sixties and seventies after it was banned in Vietnam. And there has not been a single baby born in this Valley for 50 years. Un- unreal. I mean, this is, would it be going too far to describe this as a, as a depopulation weapon or at least a depopulation effect, whether, whether you think it's intentional or accidental, the, the effect is depopulation, mm-hmm. is it not? Yeah, it's depopulation and it's it's disrupting the biological processes in the lives of many people. We're all living with a level of hormone p- pollution. I mean, this is a this is going to add to an already very serious hormone pollution problem. We worry about why there's all these weird things going on with sex and gender. And though this is not uh, politically correct to say, we're living in a world that is completely soaked in endocrine disrupting chemicals. And in terms of intent, Mike, the 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 word intent means new or should have known. Intent does not mean the desire to make something happen. In other words, if a jury has the op- option of finding someone guilty of an intentional tort, they don't have to have wanted the thing to happen. They only needed to know or should know that it could happen. And that is certainly the case here. And I think there is an absolute act of intent and uh, I don't know what Governor DeWine knew when he signed off on dumping uh, between one and five carloads of this stuff. But the governor of Ohio agreed to this, according to the Cincinnati Inquirer, quotes in the Cincinnati Inquirer, he was consulted and he ordered an evacuation of the uh, of the area. And uh, they torched five tanker cars full of vinyl chloride. I mean, I, I can't I cannot imagine a, a worse thing. I mean, this is going to be but like this, testing a, a nuclear bomb in Yonkers. Eric, and, and then they lied and they said it's a controlled burn. Now, a controlled, controlled burn is supposed to apply to you know forest fires where you burn a fire break so that the fire doesn't spread. When you yeah. take vinyl chloride or PVC and you throw it in a ditch and you set it on fire, according to the EPA, it will produce massive amounts of dioxins. And I'm on yes. archive.epa.gov. You can look up their dioxin information. It says studies have shown that only small amounts of chlorinated materials, so that's that's uh, the vinyl chloride, polyvinyl chloride, only small amounts of these materials will result in the formation of dioxins when burning. Folks, this is totally premeditated. The evidence is overwhelming. I know you're on this with this great researcher who's been covering dioxins, one of the most deadly things out there. This is the most deadly form of dioxin. But when I look at FEMA running a drill two weeks before, right through to the day it happened of putting bracelets on for an emergency and all of this, and they have this perfect train loaded with all these perfect things to cause this, and then Biden won't go there, he won't get federal support. I mean, this is smoking gun, because if you study the globalist, they always run drills for real attacks in case their people get caught running the attack. They say, oh, it's part of the drill, just like 9-11, just like so many other events. So to me, the drill for this FEMA ID for FEMA slavery uh, is just really, really a bellwether. It, it has every marker of being planned and as part of a nationwide sabotage and chemical spill operation. So it's not just shutting down uh, the food infrastructure, energy infrastructure. It's about blowing up chemical plants. I mean, there have been dozens actually this year. Wall Street Journal confirms attacks on power plants, power structures, food processing, chemical plants off the chart. And and what we need to understand about this attack in particular is how extremely low concentrations of this molecule are insanely toxic. We're going to bring back in Mr. Coppola. Well, that's right. I heard your guest say he read the governor in a news article. I saw the governor on Fox News admit he was advised by the chemist, by FEMA, by the experts to set it on fire, and he did it. So, yeah, the governor admits it, but they knew what they were doing. They should have known if they didn't, And but I think you're right. I think they did, but understand. Compared to glyphosate, I mean, glyphosate is is a, a, a Boy Scout compared to dioxins, okay? Heavy metals, lead, mercury, arsenic. So tens of millions I mean, dead glyphosate is nothing compared to that. Nothing compared to dioxins. This can be toxic at what's called femtograms. A femtogram is one one millionth of a billionth of a gram. <laughs> I mean, we're talking nanograms and then picograms. So this kills any tissue it comes in contact with? Well, it doesn't, it doesn't kill the tissue. It interferes with all normal physiological functions. So it, it has, it, it, it's soluble with lipids in the body. So it interferes with everything, the endocrine system, the cardiovascular system, the neurological The hormones they're attacking. The hormones. 
And at, I mean, we're talking about in your blood, it could be at parts per trillion or lower. Wow. There's no safe dose, which means that every surface in East Palestine and probably for a thousand square miles around there, every surface is contaminated and will be. Guys, roll the video of doves, hundreds of doves, all of them dying, hanging by their feet and falling. So apart from the premeditation potential of this, and to me, by the way, the drill is always the, the key to pre premeditation. So I need to look into that. But let's go back to a 1956 Monsanto document. We can, can we see this? Yeah, we'll punch that up. Uh, go ahead. Uh, there you go. So, yeah. oh my God, I've got my screen yeah, blur on. Yeah, you got on. the screen blur, uh, but we can... Is there a way to get rid of that fast? We don't mind anyway, seeing your background. Yeah, it's fine. Um, uh, you'll trust that, um, and I can provide this document to you. If it's you just tell us the name of the document, my crew can pull it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's in Document Cloud. I'll send you a link. It's it's in a kind of obscure place. Uh, but in any event, it's a 1956 Monsanto document, which is attempting, and it's fairly long. I mean, it's about uh, 10 pages long, includes meeting minutes, and it's attempting to reconcile the fact that they had these very unusual toxic effects in 1949 from a an incident that turned out to be dioxin. Then they had similar effects in Germany when a, a plant blew up in 1953, and they knew everything they needed to know about these chemicals as at their own admission by 1956, they knew everything that it was going to be contaminated in. This document takes you back through time, and they, they look back at all the Agent Orange components, and they admit that it's in there. And then they turn around and they spray Agent Orange, which was, you know, dioxins, one of dioxins' most infamous moments. And, and that's where most of you know about this, because if any of you are related to a Vietnam vet— Oh, oh I mean, uh, no deformities in our family history— Two deformities of my uncle that was uh, a, a helicopter gun pilot on a Cobra protecting the spraying of it. Two deformed children out of four. Yep. And three generations. Dow Chemical knew in the 1970s this would go three generations in, in a rat study that the EPA conspired with Dow to cover up. Now, the problem with the EPA is that they always conspire with the companies to cover up their crimes. They act almost like a public relations agency or a buffer to the companies to keep the companies in business. And this just has been the role of the EPA and the FDA since the beginning. And, and by the way, the exposure of these dioxins causes aggressive behavior in children. It causes deformities, both neurological and behavioral deformities. But it's directly linked like lead to crime. Well, yeah, but, but again, at concentrations that are literally a billion times smaller. So there's no way to get rid of this. Now, we, we, we have so to. So they want an angrier world, Klaus Schwab yes. talks about. And this feeds right into infertility, spontaneous abortions, and also lack of sperm motility in men. Uh, it's, it's, it's like the worst nightmare chemical, right, Eric? I mean, everything that you've seen in your research, go ahead. Yeah, it's it's the it's the, it's the worst. It's the it's the toxin by which all others are are. I've taken my blur off. You cannot see my uh, my. Sure. So by kit. accident, so the, the case of spades, the king daddy has been released. That's not an accident. Yeah, we see the document. Right. So I'll, I'll share this document with you, Alex. It is really impressive to read how much Monsanto knew, how long before they started dumping this entire chemical on the millions of men who served in Vietnam, the Vietnamese people, and then yet, when it was he, banned in Vietnam, they dark. sprayed it on the forests of, of uh, the Pacific Northwest. So this war has been going on for a very long time. Dioxin is the perfect chemical weapon. It is a war against the people throughout the history of dioxin right up to the present day. So basically, Super Agent Orange is bombing the Northeast right now. Exactly. Yeah, basically, exactly. yeah. It was almost like exploding an Agent Orange factory in, in East Palestine, Ohio. And this is why I am calling for the, the evacuation of East Palestine until there can be absolutely honest, comprehensive tests for dioxins, dibenzofurans, and all other known degradation products. Well, what's happening to and these birds? Because it was there's videos of animals dying everywhere, just hundreds of birds falling out of the yep. sky, dying. Well, what's going on? Hanging by their feet like well, bats? Well, this is they're very toxic. It's Silent Spring. I mean, this was what happened in, in Silent Spring, the, the book that got DDT banned. Um, people are saying that their bird feeders have, have no birds. Of course, they don't have any birds. This stuff is unbelievably toxic to wildlife, to small children, to pregnant women. It will sterilize all women of childbearing age, and that's why they must leave, take your dogs and cats with you, and then we have to pressure the EPA 
to get independent, honest testing for dioxins and, and, okay. and, and furans. Eric, and, and along those lines, our lab is investing in a dioxin interface for equipment. Let me go through the list of PubMed published studies that talk about nutrients that can help eliminate this just real quickly. Catechins from green tea. This is all National Library of Medicine publications. Black tea, uh, effects of green vegetables, uh, chlorophyll, chlorella, seaweed, uh, green matcha tea. And this all eliminates dioxins in laboratory studies. It eliminates it from breast milk so that you can breastfeed your babies. Uh, there's something called dried bonito broth, which is known in Japan, that's been able to help children that have been exposed to dioxins. Folks, and uh, we know about indole 3 carbon. So for any enemy attack, God gave us something. Exactly, exactly. But you have to have the knowledge. You have to understand nutrition and superfoods and supplements or grow your own sprouts, grow broccoli sprouts, make your own indole 3 carbonyl, eat cruciferous vegetables, grow your own vegetables. You can detox from this. You can survive. Our whole planet is being sabotaged. Uh, Eric, again, thank you for taking the time with us today. What else do we need to know about uh, the long-term effects of the food supply, the soils, the farmland in this area. I'm, I'm deeply concerned about the fact that there are 75,000 farms in Ohio. 90% of them are family farms, and there has to be a comparable number in, in Pennsylvania. Um, you have a population center just about 60 miles away. That would be Pittsburgh. And then I've heard of health problems as far away as Kentucky and New Hampshire, and so this is an enormous amount of, of a chemical that's measured in quadrillionths of a gram, as you accurately said. And people need to not kid themselves about how serious this is. And they need to get as far away from that thing that uh, that you're looking at right now as they can. And I know this is nearly impossible. Um, I'm speaking with residents of East Palestine by Facebook and uh, other other ways. And, and these are ordinary working class people who, you know, might they might have like two kids and two dogs. And there and and there's very few people they know who can uh, who can accommodate them, and so they're living in the middle of all of this. They're refugees. They don't really, yes, they are. They need to be refugees. I mean, I'm very sorry to say this, and I know how horrible it is when it happens in a, in a community. And I I can tell you even how traumatized students in a college dormitory were. My main project on this was covering dioxin contamination in four dormitories uh, on a college campus in New Paltz, New York, and they were completely freaked out. Out, they might have to move their dorm room. Imagine having to lose your but, home. It's unsellable. The homes are on the homes are the homes, unsellable. The I'm businesses, sorry to say the this. town. I mean, these people, these victims need to be compensated. And this is a multi, multi-billion dollar economic destruction. And by the way, the agricultural output of the state of Ohio is something like three and a half, three point eight billion dollars a year. Sure. Well, no wonder Booty Judge won't get near this. Of course. They, they can't admit that this is the biggest cover-up in the history, at least ecological cover-up in the history of our country. And the, the number of parties that are complicit in this include the media. You realize that today here, folks, with Eric Coppolino, myself, and Alex Jones, we are the pro-environment wing of America. We are pro-environment. We're trying to tell the truth. The media is covering it up. I mean... Here we are sounding the alarm and trying to save lives and trying to save future generations and trying to save farms. But because it's the Midwest, the left's making jokes about it. <laughs> it's, it's well, it's not funny. And this food is going to be distributed all over the place. You're having dinner in New York City right now. You're, you're eating food grown in Pennsylvania, Kentucky, and Ohio and, and, and New York State. So you can't poison part of the planet. Now, I wanted to say, if anyone in East Palestine is listening – Got to get people out of there, and and those who stay behind must demand dioxin and furan testing. There's a big meeting with Aaron Brockovich on Friday night. The the issue of dioxin testing must come up. I contacted Aaron last night. There have to be split samples. The samples cannot go to one lab. Now, when the 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 and there's no way that anyone can do dioxin testing and come back with a no detect level. That's why they're not going to test. But to get accurate levels, there have to be multiple labs working on this on this testing process and not paid for by the railroad. 